this video i'm going to show you guys how to build a to-do list app using vanilla javascript with crud functionality so you can type in something like take out whatever we then click the button it allows us to read it you can then edit it saying whatever and then you can remove it so that's what we're going to be building today all right so to get started what we're going to do is yeah so just pause take down all this html but the main important thing is the input with text and an id a button and then um, a div where we're going to be placing all of the newly created to do list items make sure you have those and make sure you copy down the ids because we want to need them and don't forget the script tag all right ignore this right here because this is from a project that i made a while ago so first thing we want to do is that we're going to be creating variables in order to get um the input element the button and list items so what we're going to do is that i'm going to create a new variable called user input document dot get element by id and i think the id was it called input items so input items that's one next one is the button so let add items btn equal to just copy and paste this and then you just write down your variable next we're going to be creating um let's call it list items list items same thing list items great first things first what we want to do is um and actually if you look at it so this is how it should look like all right if we add can't do anything so what i'm going to do is I'm going to create this function called add items then i want to create a new statement that said if user input that value is blank then we're just going to return no so that way if inside of this is empty when we add it's not going to return anything so now that it's null i'm going to write the logic now so what we want to do is that when we click the button we want to create a new list element in html and add it to the list items um div what we're going to do is that we want to do li or let li create a new variable document dot create element and then call it li block then once you create it we want to add we want the text to be um the user input so we're going to say li dot inner text equal to user input that value and once you do that then we need to add it to this div right here list items div so we want to say list items from this variable right here dot append child li but if we click the button it's not going to do anything because we need to add an event listener so i'm going to add it up here i'm going to say add items etn dot add event listener click comma add items so if we do that so if you click it doesn't do anything because it's empty if it's a t add there you go it adds something all right so that functionality is done next what we want to do now is that since well basically to do is kind of done we've got the main functionality which is just to add a list item so what i want to do now and if we click 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 it's going to add more what i want to do now is that for each element we want to add a button to it so i want to add two buttons so let, let's add a delete one first let delete btn equal to same thing right here document dot create element button oops yeah button like that then delete btn dot inner text 
people to delete and then when also create a second one called edit etn equal to the same thing button and then uh, edit btn dot inner checks equals to edit like that then now we need to append them so we're going to append them to the list so we're going to say li dot append child we're going to say delete btn and then li dot append child edit btn like that so if you come now if we add it's empty if you add something we click add there you go but we don't have any functionality so that's what we're going to do now what we're going to do now is that we're going to add functionality to them so what we're going to do is so for delete button let's do that first within the function still within the function because the main elements are in it so if we were to do it outside then it will give an error so delete btn btn dot add event listener click comma and then i want to just create a function function like that you can also add an error function doesn't matter what we want to do is that we want to say li or no list items dot move child li like that so if we come here and we add and we click delete it's gone great now for the edit now what we want to do is that when we click the edit button it's going to give us a prompt and we can edit so edit btn dot add event listener click function and then what we're going to say is that we're going to say prompt right and then what should we add this let's say let edit text let's just call it that and then we're going to say um li dot inner text equal edit text like that so if you come here now and we add something we click on edit it gives us this if we say hello world click ok it works but you see as soon as we edit it everything goes away the buttons goes away go away um so yeah we need to fix that glitch the way you can fix it is that you just need to do this again copy the append child right here yeah, and just add it to the function. That's it. So that's what goes on. So we add something. We can edit. Say whatever. There you go. Fix. But here's the thing. If you click on edit, then we click OK. Everything goes away, right? If we do this, and we click cancel or whatever. Click OK. If we click cancel. So what I want to do is that to fix that, we're gonna say, oops, yeah if edit text is equal to null then return no so return nothing so if we do text edit okay oh, wait it's still blank for some reason oh i think wait we click on wait hold on yeah so if we click on edit and cancel it actually works yeah that works but if we were to if we were to be empty and we click ok it doesn't work so i'm going to say if edit null or if edit text or sorry not if um or edit text is equal to blank that's what we should do or if edit text equal to blank return null all right that should work now so if we do this add edit okay nothing edit cancel nothing click delete nothing there we go that's it but here's a thing let's say if we do this enter you want to like 
click the enter key um then we can do this so we're going to grab our um we're going to grab our user uh, yeah we're going to grab our user input we're going to say user input uh, add event listener let's do key up and then function if we say if oh wait and in the function e parameter if e dot key equals to enter then just run the add items function like that so if you say whatever when we click enter it works only thing though is that whenever we click um whenever we add our item um the value stays in the input field so all you need to do is just do at the end of the function just say use uh, input dot value equal no equal that right so we, every time you do this it goes away that and then we can edit you call trash um the control doesn't do that cancel doesn't do anything um eat food um do um work and delete 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 that's it so that's how we created to do SAP in vanilla JavaScript, the CRUD functionality. Hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next project.